Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today I'm going to show you the new navigation program that's built into the HTC Desire HD ROM. So the cool thing about this is you don't need a data connection to use the navigation program. So if you're out of your coverage area, that means that you can use your navigation without having any service. So let's get started. <laughs> So yesterday, Brandon had demonstrated some of the new features on this Desire HD ROM that was ported over to the HTC HD2. Of course, this is still the Beta 2 version, so not all of the features are exactly integrated like the HTC Sense.com website. So some of the maps aren't able to download directly to the device. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the actual navigation program, and this is the basic one that comes with the Desire HD ROM. And this is the free version. There's also a paid version, which is about $4.99 for the entire United States. The HTCSense.com website is not fully up and running, so unfortunately the maps were not able to download all the way. But we can go into still some of the great navigation features, so let's do that. So we have two separate views. We have this 3D view, which is pretty cool because at nighttime it shows you the stars and even shows you the North Star uh, facing in the north direction, of course. We can also get the 2D view, which is pretty simple, and it shows you the street names and street numbers. And go back to the 3D view again. So if we go down to the menu, we can browse for certain items. We can upgrade, of course, and get directions. We can also change the view. So if I click on here, I can add all these certain points of interest. Another cool feature about this, if we go all the way down, of course this is pretty glitchy right now because this is still the beta 2 test version. We can also get 3D building. So I'm going to go back, click done, and wait for it to load just one second. And now if I navigate to Seattle, I'll just take one second to do this, and I'll show you the 3D building. So let me just zoom back into Seattle. So here we are in Seattle, and we have a few buildings. We have the Space Needle. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. We have the Experience Music Project, uh, the Seattle Center. So this is like the, the main metropolitan area of the Seattle area. So we can also zoom out, if I'd like, and get all these other points of interest as I zoom in closer, of course. And we have a few other buildings, but there's not too much on here right now because it's still, of course, in the Beta 2 test. So I'm going to show you the navigation, and then we're going to go for a little ride, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here I am in airplane mode, and you can see that with the uh, little airplane uh, signia at the top. So the cool thing about this, of course, is you still have the maps on the application, and this is called Locations by HTC. So another great thing about this is if I go into the car menu, I'll show you that in just a second, it gives me many more options. So let's do that. So I'm just going to go home and then go into the car panel. And it's pretty cool. So you can use your phone in your car, but we don't really recommend that doing that, of course, unless you're uh, stopped or uh, as the passenger. So we can pick our destination. So if we want to find something, let's say we want to go here and we'll search for something simple. Let's try a gas station. So we'll hit search. I turned off the uh, data connection. So this is what, everything that's saved in here. And I'm just gonna select this AM, PM. These are all the points of interest that are saved on the uh, application itself. So I can either use the premium navigation, which is the $4.99 service through HTC, or I can use Google navigation. So I'm just gonna use the premium navigation here. And we'll let it load. And it will display my destination. Right now it's searching for GPS because I'm inside the house. So. Uh, we'll go out to the car in just a second, and now it looks like it's found the direction. It's going to route my course and give me turn-by-turn turn directions. After 100 yards, turn left. Okay, so there we go. Another cool thing about this is if you hit the bottom, it gives you a progress bar opposed to the uh, estimated time of arrival. So let's go outside and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I live on a private road, so I wouldn't suggest anyone driving with a video camera and a cell phone in their dash. Uh, this is my own private road, and as like in our community, we own this property, so it's not really that big of a deal. But I'm just gonna show you some of the ways that this thing navigates, and let's see if we can turn here. Sorry about this, it's probably gonna be like the Blair Witch Project or Cloverfield, but I'll try to give you the best views that I can. Uh, as we drive. So it should start speaking to me and as you can see the navigation works pretty well. Uh, it's exactly where I am on this street. Luckily my gate is open so I don't now, worry about waiting for right, that. And then at the second road turn left. So it's pretty simple of course it does give you English and you can choose between a male or a female voice whichever you prefer. After uh, it does come with all the other voices on there left. but when I first installed it this was speaking to me in uh, Chinese, so that was a little annoying. 
So I'm just gonna go up to the end of the street and then I can go back and I'll show you the rest of the features of this application. Okay, so some other cool things about this application is that you can zoom in and zoom out. You can uh, do the uh, pinch to zoom, or you can also hold and select and move your finger slightly, and you can get this uh, a zoom in and zoom out bar over here. You can also go to your My Location, and it'll take you directly back to your location. Uh, if we go back, I'm going to show you the rest of the car menu. I can also click here on the screen, of course, and hit Stop, get a 2D view if I'd like, and it switches to a 2D view. I can just tap back on the screen. I can get a preview of my entire uh, itinerary and uh, route. So I can view my entire itinerary if you'd like. I can see the entire turn-by-turn uh, -turn basis and the uh, distance traveled. I can go back. I can also click here and if I would like to use my phone I can do that. Of course I can also mute it and go back to my car panel. So from here I can view my footprints if I had made uh, photos on the while I'm venturing out. I can also view my photos. I can see nearby items like points of interest and stuff so click here and I can get all these other sort of items here of course parking fuel shopping eating transit and all these other great features so I can also mark this location so let's say I'm right here and I want to mark this location and I have my address of course it's not going to give me my direct address because this is still the beta and it just shows me my uh, GPS coordinates so we can go back or save it to footprints so this is the free version on the Locations app uh, through HTC's uh, Desire HD ROM. So a cool thing about this is it does give you your uh, compass on the top. You can also change between 2 and 3D views. This is the free version, of course. I can go down here to the bottom and get directions. And let's just search for some gas again because I think I've already had that saved. Click there and wait for it to load. We get this gas station. We can either choose between driving or walking. So I'm going to choose driving, of course. And it will give me my destination and start my directions. And it loads really fast for a navigation program to reroute something that quickly. So if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the YouTube Pocket Now channel. And you can do that just by clicking a button down below. And also leave some comments. Uh, we like to hear what you think. And thanks for watching.